Salut. I did a Bachelor of Science degree and I do have chemistry, I have physics and I do have biology. But then now my problem is my maths and my English marks from high school um, are below 60. So what do I do now? How do I make sure that I get into this program? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Selule Kukwabe. I am currently a fourth year medical student at Viz University and I got in through the Graduate Entry Medical Program, also known as GIMP. So this is an amazing program that Viz University offers to graduates like myself um, and give them the opportunity to start medical school at third year of study instead of starting at first year. So you get to skip first and second year of medical school and start medical school at third year. So yes. So guys, in this video, I will be sharing with you guys the exact requirements to get into this program because I understand that there are a lot of you guys that have different scenarios um, of, you know, your previous studies. Some people have never done um, biology. Some people have never done chemistry or physics. So I will be sharing with you guys the exact um, modules or steps that you could take in order to have a full package of exactly what they require from you. So yes. Okay guys, so there are three requirements to get into GIMP. First one being having a bachelor degree. So I've heard so many questions from you guys asking me um, which bachelor degree does it necessarily have to be a biology bachelor degree? And I'm here to answer your question. The answer is no, it doesn't have to be a, a biology bachelor degree. It could be a bachelor degree in engineering. It could be in accounting. It could be in IT as long as it's a bachelor degree. So I hope that answers your question. So guys, the second requirement is having 60% for high school pure mathematics and 60% for um, high school English. It could be home language or first additional language. It does not really matter. It just has to be 60%. And then it is for the other subjects, such as life sciences and physical sciences. They are not really the deciding factors in terms of being invited to write the webs. Rather, you have to just pass them. Make sure that you pass all your metric subjects, but then make sure that English and maths um, are 60% because these two subjects are the deciding factors for you to get into you know writing the web because they are deciding factors to write the web and they ha they hold no points in you know being chosen to get into the program so yeah they just give you points to write the web and not points to get into the program the deciding factors so getting into the program is passing the web and then your degree average marks, if that makes sense. So guys, make sure that you get to a stage where you actually write the web and then start getting, you know, those points to get into the program. So yes, that's it for the second requirement. The third and last requirement is having three university modules so that you would have done at first year level. So these are six months of physics, six months of chemistry, and then a full year of biology. And then a lot of you have asked me questions like, Silu, I did not really, really study um, biology, but I have anatomy. Some students have zoology, some students have botany or um, any other, you know, biology related or life sciences related modules that you have done at first year. So these modules actually stand in for biology. So yes, those are perfect. You can do you can use those modules. You don't really have to do an additional course for biology because you already have biology. If that makes sense. So guys, I've actually come across um, three types of students with their three different types of problems. So student number one will be like. Salut, I did a Bachelor of Science degree and I do have chemistry, I have physics and I do have biology. But then now my problem is my maths and my English marks from high school 
um, are below 60. So what do I do now? How do I make sure that I get into this program? So student number two will be like, Salu, you know what, um, I got into, you know, a Bachelor of Engineering and I've, not, I've never done biology, man, but I do have chemistry. I do have, you know, my physics and I usually have good marks for maths and I have good marks for English. So I'm covered in that side. But then my problem is I don't have biology. Tell me, what can I do? How can I make sure that I have biology in my package so that I'll be accepted? Student number three will be like, Salu, um, I've done a biological bachelor degree. So then now I don't have chemistry, I don't have physics, but I do have biology. My maths marks were good from high school. Also, my English marks were good. But then I don't have chemistry and physics. What do I do? Where do I get these mar um, modules? So luckily, I have answers to all three students. So to student number one, the student that had problems with maths and English from high school, having less marks than what is required, which is 60%. So I'd say apply at UNISA at www.unisa.ac.za. And then the course that you are going to choose while applying is NDP, which is also known as non-degree purpose course. So after you've done that, you will then be, you know, ask to come register. When you're now registering, you're going to um, register for access to maths and also English. So as for maths, this is the module code. It is M-A-T in capital letters 0511. So it's M-A-T 0511. And then as for English, it is E-G-L in capital letters 1501. The other module code is 1502 and 1511. So this is what I would say to student number one. Apply for these modules. Um, and what I like about this is that unlike when you are from high school where you require to get 60%, here, now that you're doing a university level maths and English, you're now only required to get 50%. So from 60 to 50%, which I think is great. You don't really have to, you know, hustle yourself too much. And then just make sure that you pass, get a 50% and then come back and apply. And then you'll be invited to come write the wet. So, yes. And then to student number two, the student that had not done biology in their lives before. So, these are students that did engineering, IT, or accounting, become accounting. So, this is what I'd say. I'd say also go to UNISA at www.unisa.ac.za and then also apply to do a non degree purpose calls and then when they have called you to come register these are the module codes that you're going to apply for so it will be blg in capital letters 1501 um, 1502 and 1503 the last one 1503 is actually an, an optional um, module it's for practicals you can choose to do it or not do it so it's actually up to you so also for biology you are only required to get 50 percent and then you're good to go so to student number three this is the student that um had done a biological biological bachelor degree so this does not include chemistry yet not done physics as well so what i'll say to you is also apply at unisa at www unisa.ac.za and then also choose a non-degree purpose course and then you could add um, chemistry and physics modules so that you can now have physics and chemistry in your package so these are the module codes for chemistry so for chemi chemistry it is CHE in capital letters 1501 1502 and for physics it is H, I mean PH, sorry, it's PHY 1501 1502. So that's the end of the video. I really hope that I touched all.
problems that each student could have and if i haven't please do ask more questions in the comment section and thank you so much guys for all these questions that you guys keep on giving me because you know it helps it helps also me to understand more about game and everything things that i had not known <laughs> about games so thank you so much keep the questions coming and also if there are things that i haven't you know touched on please do let me know so that i'll also talk about that in my future videos and guys thank you so much man thank you so much for the love and support and if you liked the video please do give it a thumbs up so that you know i can make more videos like these and also please subscribe to my channel to grow the family and and then help this channel be recognized on youtube and be seen by more students who have similar problems so thank you so much for watching bye